You know my guest tonight from the television show, This Is Us, but this is not about that. She has a new album. It is her first in a decade. It's called Silver Landings. And please welcome Mandy Moore. Hello, Mandy. Hello, how are you? I'm all right. How are you doing? I'm hanging in there, thanks. Is that your fireplace you're in front of right now? <laughs> it's my fireplace. It's sort of the quietest part of my house over here. Does it get much use, that fireplace? We've never turned it on. <laughs> you have to be careful. I don't know if you heard. Britney Spears burned her gym down with two candles. I, I, I saw that on Instagram. Mm. I mean, I don't mean to laugh because it's terrible, but... Well, yeah, that was that was bizarre. I will be careful with the candles. Very, very careful. You're supposed to be on tour right now, right? Wasn't that the plan? The plan, yeah. Every everyone's plans had to shift a little bit, right? In these last few months. Yeah, we were supposed to be on tour. It was my first time going on tour in 13 years. Is there a bus like with your head on it and your name on it parked in a <laughs> airplane hangar somewhere or something? Yeah, there's a there's a bus with like a giant Mandy Moore sticker around it right now. No, I I mean since the world is sort of shut down and therefore the music industry shut down, I'm sure there are lots of tour buses across the country that are just sitting empty. Um, but yeah, we were supposed to be on the road and uh, we've been here quarantined for the last six weeks. Yes, you'll be you'll be longing for these days when you do wind up getting out on the road. Exactly. You've been doing performances from your house. You've been serenading the phone, really, right? Serenading the phone. I mean, you know of all people how very bizarre it is. Yeah, my, my husband, Taylor, is in my band, and we wrote this whole record together, and he plays on it, and he was going to be on the road with me. So we've decided that once a week he can sing some of his music, I can sing some of my music, and it's been this sort of you know, catharsis at the end of the week. Like, um, it, it gives us something to work towards and look forward to. Um, but it is really weird getting used to performing for no one, but understanding uh -huh. <laughs> that people are theoretically watching. But, you know, as a performer too, of course, you're so used to having some sort of energy or reaction or applause or something, and you finish a song and there's just silence. And you, you have know, to figure out like how to move forward. I will say there are many nights where I do have a studio audience and I experience that silence. So it's better when I have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is, does feel, so your husband, as many know, is Taylor Goldsmith from the band Dawes. His band is, is a great band. Are you guys working on like quarantine themed music? Have you been inspired by waiting for the Amazon guy? I don't think anyone's going to want to hear quarantine themed music. Everyone's going to want to forget about this time period. But no, we have been writing together. And uh, yeah, that's one nice thing to sort of, you know, be two creative people under the same roof and be able to lean on one another. And it gives us, yeah, something, something to look forward to, something to do together. I heard you've been going through some of your old stuff. And uh, of course, uh, you started as just a kid singing pop songs. And you found oh, some yeah. fun some stuff that you wanted to share with us, correct? Sure, yeah. Or at I mean, least we wanted you to share. Of, I've been <laughs> doing some spring cleaning, um, uh -huh. and I found some fun stuff. So when I was 15 and just started out in the industry, my, my very first tour was with NSYNC. But shortly thereafter, I got to open up for the Backstreet Boys on their Millennium Tour, and I found my tour badge, like my little lanyard that I had to wear everywhere. There's my wow. picture of me when I'm, I was 15. I mean, it has like, I have the hospitality badge. I have like my, my meal pass that like you had to show before you went and got your food and catering. So this wow. is, uh, that this was is from 1999. That was a you then, huh? That was a current picture of me with my little blonde hair. It's, it looks like an Amber Alert or something. <laughs> if, you've, if you've seen this and then child. I found, I found this Polaroid of me with the Backstreet Boys. What are they wearing? So this was their Millennium Tour, and it was a tour that was done in the round. And I, my favorite thing was they started the show by, like, flying in. And so they're wearing sort of, like, appropriate... I don't know. They look like <laughs> spacesuits, kind of. Harnesses. Like, it looks like they're. Yeah. It's like they're doubling as a SWAT team. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> um, nice. Then I found this very uh, bizarre, the unofficial Mandy Moore book. Wow, which that's an I, actual I book. That's an it's an actual book that was for sale for twelve ninety five that some someone wrote without 
me knowing about it without my knowledge. But it has lots of fun facts, like this page <laughs> here is 10 things we love about Mandy. And the very first fact is Mandy is proud of her big feet. <laughs> she wears a size 10 shoe. They call her Bigfoot, but she doesn't care. She thinks they're cool feet. That's a fun fact. Are those fun facts no. true facts? No, they are not. No. You don't have a size I mean, 10 I, foot? I do have a size 10 foot, but I'm oh. proud of it. <laughs> okay. I'm not proud of being called Bigfoot. Even Sasquatch doesn't like it. <laughs> so Mandy, tonight you've selected a charity. You've selected Music Cares COVID-19 Relief Fund. Music yes. Cares is a great charity. Uh, tell us a little bit about what, what they're doing. Yeah, it's an incredible organization that, that benefits the music industry, but specifically with the COVID-19 Relief Fund, it's, it's helping music creators and um, touring musicians and touring crews, like a lot of the folks that, um, that I was going to be working with, helps them in this moment when they're not making a paycheck. And um, it's really, it's, it's, they're doing incredible work, yeah. Grammy.com slash music cares slash donations to learn more. And when we come back, Mandy Moore and her husband, Taylor Goldsmith, are going to do a song for us. So we'll be right back. 